Hi, I'm Nick from Wild Oak Films, and we are so excited to share with you Gil and Kylie's Spruce Mountain, Colorado Ranch wedding video. The groom cries when he sees his bride. The bride cries when she sees her groom. This one's probably gonna make you cry. This one is a great wedding video. Enjoy. February 28th, 2013 is a pretty significant day. Kylie informed me that she received a message on Twitter from a guy she knew of but had never really met. The message said, and I quote, I had a pretty hilarious dream last night and you were in it. In my opinion, that's kind of creepy, but Kylie must have thought otherwise because exactly eight minutes later, she responded with, oh gosh, if I was as much as a weirdo as I am in real life, I apologize. I'm happy to say that 1,648 days later, my weird best friend just married the creepy guy from Twitter. Kylie, this audience gathered here today assumes automatically that because you and I are standing here on our wedding day that I love you. I can honestly say that that is the truth, but it is so far from my true feelings. I do love you with all my heart, but lines on pieces of paper and a few vows said aloud really limit my love and all that I want to promise you in this life. Gil, on this day, I take you to be my husband, my partner in life. But long before you were a thought in my mind and a feeling in my heart, you were somebody else's. And more importantly than anything, you were, are, and always will be, first and foremost, not my husband, but a son of God. I have no idea why I'm nervous, but I'm, uh, I'm so excited. I woke up at about five. I woke just couldn't go back to bed, I just, so I don't know, it's just been this uh, just overwhelming great emotion all day. I don't know how else to describe it. Gil, I can't even believe that today is the day, the day I become your wife. Early on in our relationship when it was just months of calls, texts, letters, I knew there was something incredibly special about you. We lived hundreds of miles apart, but that didn't seem to matter. I dove headfirst into the confusion, but the crazy thing was that it all made sense to me. I never once questioned that you were who God intended me to be with. My bride, what an amazing word to be able to write the morning of our wedding, bride. Many notes I've written to you, but this is by far my favorite because I get to address you as such a magical, spiritual word. God has blessed us immensely and designed you and I for one another. I'm so honored to be your husband and ecstatic to do this life with you. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Aww. That's so sweet. I'm <laughs> big. Am I allowed to turn around? <laughs> You look amazing. It's our wedding day. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love you. I vow to build this marriage on the foundation of God, to treat you as God's daughter first and my wife second, and pray for you and with you daily. I promise to remember that marriage is ultimately not about our happiness but about our holiness. So I vow to lean on the promise and not the feelings, to be committed to you and to be a woman of my word. To many of us, the coming of this day was not a mystery, where we would watch Gil and Kylie publicly profess their love for one another and enter into an eternal covenant under God. From the moment they locked eyes on each other in high school, and Kylie specifically last week asked me to, to point out that Kylie did not like Gil in high school. <laughs> or when, they, when their paths reconnected at the party in KU and now where the worlds have finally collided. From rival high schools in Mays and Hutch or Johnson County Community College or Hutch Community College or Nashville to Manhattan or Chicago to Wichita and now, finally, in the same city, playing on the same team 
And after today, wearing the same Ray Winkle jersey, can I get an amen? <laughs> Come on. Love is such an adventure, and God's story is so, so good. Kylie Marie, I want this day to be the one that we cherish and hold on to forever. It marks a covenant being fulfilled with one another to become one flesh. I am ready to take on this life with you by my side. I am ready to serve our Lord as one and to help glorify His name. I am ready to marry you. Having asked God's blessings on these vows and these promises spoken and these tokens in exchange, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Yo, you can kiss your bride. Yeah, yo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it is now with my unexplainable honor to be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Gil Raywinkle. <laughs>